Hey everyone, it's Froggy and I'm back again with another episode of C14 Dating. So we have a new cutscene and I'm gonna go ahead and start. I entered the lab and leaned over the chair positioned before my laptop. It would only take a few moments to read. Well, it did, but then I found adorable bunny videos. Um, Melissa? I turned and Shoji paused in the doorway before entering. Shoji rarely left his tent at this time. Hey, something up? Uh, remember a few weeks ago when you asked me to dance? Oh. Oh, what's this? What's going on now? Uh-huh. And, er, uh, I declined? Right. And uh, how you said if I ever decided to ask you to dance, you'd always say yes? Oh, he's so shy right now. This is the cutest thing ever. Um, does it still apply? Of course it does. I promised, after all. Uh, I wasn't sure if you were saying that to be nice, or... No, I meant it. Should you blush deeper and fell silent? I guessed the focus on him was too much again. Come on, you did ask me to dance. He nodded and I followed him outside, only for him to halt. The music had switched to a more rave-like atmosphere along the, uh, rather erotic dance moves. The music had switched to a more rave-like atmosphere along with the, uh, rather erotic dance moves. Should you immediately shrink back? They were playing a bunch of slow songs in a row before. I guess I took too long. Wait, how long did he stand in the hallway before asking me? Like the time he froze in the museum because someone was in his tent. I'm sorry about this. Maybe another time. He went through the trouble of asking. Here, I'll make a song request. I froze when I noticed his pleading look. I could tell that he regretted the whole thing now. It's fine, I'm not comfortable dancing with all those people. You know, if it's not too much, we can dance upstairs. Hmm? That way, we'll be away from the crowd. He nodded and I grabbed my laptop, encouraging him to follow me upstairs. Switching on the lights, I positioned the laptop on the table. Any requests? I pretty much got everything from video game soundtracks to classical. I don't know much about music and dancing. Then how about... Shoji saw the highlighted song and groaned. The Ishtera Ballroom song? Are we really going in that direction? I chuckled. Despite his protest, I think it helped him relax. Okay, maybe that's too geeky. Here, uh, this one's a nice slow swing song. The smooth R&B started and Shoji followed me to the middle of the floor. I grabbed his hand and he flinched, then sheepishly wiped his pants. S sorry, my hands are really sweaty. Don't worry about it. You're not the first and you will not be the last dance partner with sweaty hands. Believe me, I dance competitively. It's nothing. Now grab my sweaty hand. Aww, this is adorable. He's really tall. Or she's really short. To reassure him, I carefully guided his arm to my back, then intertwined my right hand with his. Gently, I swayed our bodies side to side, barely moving our feet to keep it simple. What made you decide to ask me? Uh, well, it's an important hobby to you, and I felt bad for saying no the first time. Ah, don't beat yourself up over it. You had other plans, and I kind of sprung it on you. Still, thank you. I appreciate it. He said nothing, but his grip on my hand tightened. We continued to shift our weight to the rhythm until the song ended. We slowly pulled away as the last note lingered. Um, thank you. Even if it was just one dance, it was fun. Feel free to ask me out anytime. Cute. <laughs> I'm glad that he finally decided to do it. I love their little TVs of them playing games together. Oh, except for when we fail. Which is all the time now. I grinned as I glanced over the cover of Motel Dawn 2. Until Dawn? I don't know. 
Oh, I don't know what that's supposed to be a reference to. Eh. It was in French, but Shoji mentioned it had other language options, including English. Earlier, while discussing games, I lamented that one series didn't have its sequel released in North America. Turned out, he knew what I was talking about, and he owned it. I can't believe we didn't get this one. Usually North America gets the game first, too. I remember we would be lucky to get certain games, or we'd have to wait for months. Thanks for letting me borrow it. It'll give me something to do this weekend. Um, what do you usually do over the weekends here? Nothing really. Sleep in, go for a morning jog, study, dance, game. Cry over the scary noises at night. Why? I was wondering if it's no problem. Maybe I could visit on the weekend, or not stay long or anything since I have to help with the shop and all. Unless you already have plans, I don't want to impose. Make plans for this weekend, make plans for next weekend. Let's make plans for this weekend. No, it's not imposing at all. If anything, I'd love it. It'd be nice to hang out and relax. Shoji seemed surprised by my answer for a moment, then perked up happily. I had the feeling he'd been bracing for a different answer. Wait, what about your mom? Shouldn't you stay with her instead? She recently left the hospital, right? Yes, she was only there for a few days to have her health monitored. She's currently resting at home. Whenever I discussed about returning to help in the evenings, I'd get scolded for worrying too much. My mom was actually the one who incur... Uh, incur? Oh, I see. You've talked about the excavation. She knows you've made friends here and she's encouraging you to spend time with them. Shoji's mom knew about me? That's exactly it. With how quickly he agreed, I knew it wasn't the full story, but it eased his nerves. Are there any games that you'd like me to bring, or...? Shoji and I worked out the details. Now I had something to look forward to. Ah, uh, His mom knows he's got a crush on her. Ah, oh, that's so cute! Yay, we succeeded, finally. And we failed. Ah, oh, well. What time is it? He should be here soon. When I heard gravel being kicked up in the driveway, I knew it was Shoji. Here you are. I exaggeratedly spread out my arms and gestured toward the museum. Welcome to Callan Cave, when it's deserted and haunted. It doesn't appear that different from the weekdays. Believe me, it's different. I set up the TV and stuff upstairs. I just need to finish checking a few things on my computer, and then I'll join you. Sounds good. He tripped upstairs, and I maneuvered over to the lab. After closing the applications, I set the laptop to sleep and left to find Shoji. What game did... I trailed off when I realized that the TV wasn't on, and the chairs were at the table instead. Centered on the table was a small wooden board with a deck of cards beside it. What's this? Consoles were compatible with the TV? Shoji circled to the other side of the table and pulled out a seat. Uh, no. I was thinking we always play video games, and I thought this would be a nice change of pace. So we're transitioning from video games to card games. Tiny steps. We sat down and Shoji shuffled the cards expertly. I glanced at the little board, vaguely familiar with the design. Have you played Crib before? Oh, I love it! Yay! That's what I was thinking, too. So I'm pretty excited now. On my phone. Ah, I usually play Crib with my parents. At first, I'd rather be glued to the computer, and I had to be dragged into it. But I've come to appreciate things like this recently. Lowest card deals. Oh, oh look at this! Oh, he is, he is into it. He cut the deck and presented the bottom half to me. I picked up an eight of clubs while he got a lower card. I returned the card and he shuffled them again. Do you want to include muggins? Muggins? Yeah, sure, why not? I admit that I never used the muggins rule when I played the virtual game. 
Muggins was a rule where a player could add points to their score if another player overlooked points from their own hand. What were the chances a computer would overlook its own scoring? Once he dealt, I collected my six cards and scanned them over thoughtfully. My hand was decent, although I wasn't sure if I wanted to break up a pair or a run. After Shoji got his crib hand and the deck card was flipped over, we started to play. The game went smoothly, but eventually Shoji got higher scoring hands, and he seemed to know which cards to keep or give up. Even though it was my crib, I tossed down my hand dejectedly inside. Ugh, only four points. Muggins for one point. You missed the jack in your hand, which matches the starter card. What? Oh. He advanced his green peg by one. Soon he started to gain extra points that way. Yee, chibis! Alright, well, now that we've got a chibi, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.